classic. Tonight we have from the vaults of overtime a high school football classic that you will never forget unless you saw it the first time and you didn't forget it the first time. We're talking about Long Beach Poly, the Poly Five, Darnell Bing, Manny Wright, the immortal Winston Justice, Herschel Dennis, and our guest tonight, Mercedes Lewis, still playing in the NFL, a pro bowler, an All-American in high school, an All-American at UCLA, a first-round pick, a great example to the youngsters in every community, Mercedes Lewis, one of my heroes and the greatest member of the Poly Five. Tonight, we're going way back to the year 2000, December 9th, Long Beach Poly at the Big Ed versus Loyola, one versus number two in the CIF championship game. What's cracking, Mercedes? How are you? Welcome to the show. What's going on, man? I'm vibing, staying out of trouble, staying healthy and out the way, and, uh, you know, just trying to stay in the best shape possible. So when it's time to start back up for camp, I'm ready to go. Well, you look good. Uh, there's no doubt about that. And it's uh, great to see you. Just talk about what it's like for you, because it's been so long to see these old tapes. I mean, you have tape, you know, going back uh, 23 years, well, longer than that, uh, of you making big plays. Uh, do you remember it? Because you've been looking through a face mask this whole time. Yeah, I mean, I definitely remember it. And, you know, looking back at the old tapes and sometimes even when I can catch them on uh, Fox Sports and they and you know, I just happen to be in the house watching. I mean, it's, you know, you, you definitely feel a little nostalgic about it. And um, I think, you know, I speak, I don't just speak for me, but just guys that have played the game, you know, as much film as, as you can like muster up from when you were younger, I think that's, you know, that that's the plan, like when, when you leave, you know, cause you, you don't ever get to get that back. So I'm definitely, you know, blessed whenever it comes on and I'm with my boys and they can see me running around before I got to the point to where I am now and, and growing up, you know, as rough as I did and being able to be a part of that tradition. Speaking of that tradition, uh, we mentioned the Poly Five. Uh, Coach Lara was the defensive coordinator in this game. Uh, and this was Coach Jerry Jaso's uh, last game ever. Uh, this was his retirement, one of the great coaches in the history of, of high school football, uh, in many people's opinions, including mine. You have Steve Brady on the other sideline looking all angry with that mad uh, physical Loyola team. You guys tied the CIF championship uh, the year before with Modern Day, which left a bitter taste in everybody's mouth. What was the mindset uh, going into this game during the week? You know, really focus on, you know, what's got us to that point. And you know, obviously we, we had an explosive offense, but our defense was amazing. In this game, the defense is gonna win championships. Yeah, we're gonna score points, but you know, it's just about focusing, you know, in on the in on those moments. So yeah. Do you remember Herschel or anybody making speeches during the week? We were also internally motivated. You know, where we came from and get to get to that point and playing for Long Beach Poly, I mean it's about the tradition speaks loud enough. That's what drove us every day. Man, it's crazy thinking back, like, I, you know, just those practices and, like, being in class and, like, getting out and just being, you know, proud of going on that football field, you know. And every game we play, we try to just display the grit, determination, the blood, sweat, and tears of, you know, growing up in the inner city and very much so being a part of, you know, where we are today, man. Like, it, it, was, it was very real. You know, the movies... You know, you may read books about it. It was very real, man. Well, you're about to see a real rough and tumble first half. Uh, it is going to be something else. Let's get out to it. The Big Ed, Jim Watson, John Jackson, Mike Lamb on the call. We're opening the vaults. Check out Mercedes Lewis, Matt Ware, the rest of the Poly Five. Matt Ware is hard to chase around for that Loyola quarterback now. Let's enjoy the game. Long Beach Poly has been beating up on people all year long. Tonight, they put their number one rank. High school football classics on prime ticket continues. You see him there. That's Mercedes Lewis. He needs no introduction. He's still playing football in the NFL. And this game was 20 years ago. The CIF championship, 0-0. Zero, zero. At halftime, after such a dominant season, Mercedes, what was it like for you guys going in the locker room? Were you staring at each other, freaking out? What was the mood? I think at this point, it's just kind of like, all right, 
well, it's zero, zero. You know what I mean? It can't get no worse than this. So, um, you know, it's just one of those situations like we had talked about before about, you know, the guys stepping up. You know, we had to make more plays than them. So I think that that was the kind of the mindset in the locker room at that time. And we will see uh, how it plays out. But, you know, Marvin Simmons, Raymond Tago, Manny, you know, the, the defensive battle that this game was was a lot of fun. But it had to be frustrating for you guys offensively who are so used to being uh, so productive. Yeah, no, and that's what I'm saying. Like we, you know, our, our offense and our defense, because, you know, we were so competitive and so um, good that year, uh, you know, you know, put prize apart from each other, like in practice, like it was that serious. Like defense didn't want us to score and the offense was trying to throw bombs over Baghdad. So, <laughs> you know, to be in a situation, you know, how we were and how I ended up in that game, like it, it was tough for us, but it definitely um, forced us to dig deep. Uh, I think that's the most important part of it. Uh, and the underlying assumption of that whole game is digging deep. And uh, it is amazing to see not only uh, great athletes, but you were also great teams that found it together, uh, which had to be extremely difficult to do when everybody, you know, wanted to be showcased. There's only one football. How'd you do it? Yeah, well, I think, uh, you know, when you think of Long Beach Poly, at least back in the day, it was like, yo, bunch of athletes, game bangers, you know, they, they won't be able to do this and that. But the reality of it is, whether whether they're gang members or just a bunch of athletes, we're very intelligent too. And we've been doing this for a very long time. A lot of the guys that you know play high school ball at Long Beach Poly play Pop Warner at Long Beach Poly. I started playing Pop Warner for Long Beach Poly when I was seven. So that tradition uh, and, and being in it, we, we've done that forever. And a lot of the guys that were, you know, to my left and to my right were there since I was a kid, you know? So that's always a little extra boost for you to um, do your very best. And, uh, you know, that's what you got night in and night out. Well, it is really cool to see you reflect on this and remember that it's 20 years ago and you've been playing football the whole time and you still have all the memories about this particular Night. Let's get back to the second half. I promise somebody's going to score. Let's do it. The CIF championship from 2000, December 9th. Jim Watson, John Jackson, Mike Lamb at the big end. Let's get out of Brian Curtis staying by with Jerry Chaso. Thanks a lot, Jim. And coach, it's 0-0 at halftime. A classic from the vault ends in overtime and Long Beach Poly wins the CIF championship, avenging the tie (laughs) from the year before, and really looking forward to one of the most legendary moments in high school football history, De La Salle versus Pauly, your next year. Mercedes Lewis, a football legend and a great person, still doing it in the league, uh, joining us, and uh, so much fun to watch this whole thing go down. But with all due respect to Loyola fans, Mercedes, you caught that ball. That, That game was over. I still can't believe that. I remember two years after I graduated, I mean, I was still thinking about it. On top of it, it was both feet. It wasn't just one, you know? Yeah. But I'm just happy that we won. You know, if, if that would have happened and we had lost, then there, there would have been some explaining to do. But uh, it was definitely a good experience and uh, a great game to be in. Uh, everybody saw it. I mean, even Jim Watson saw the mismatch on the, on the edge uh, there. What did... What did Coach say uh, during the uh, timeout, and were you surprised it was just you and him out there? No, I wasn't surprised. Uh, and, and mind you, that's something that we work on, you know, every practice uh, with me doing fades from the outside or slants or hitches just by myself out there. If it's a hitch, I'm going to catch a ball, break a tackle, whatever. If it's a slant, I'm going to use my big body to shield them. And if it's a fade, that's just me and you, and you're not going to win that. So. We knew that, you know, if it ever came down to that that point and we needed a bucket, that's what the play was going to be. So I was ready for it. You know, coach looked me in the eyes and was like, it's that time. And, and that's what it was. And, you know, like I said before, you, you, 
you saw the catch. Like, I, I don't have to. I don't really like talking about it too much. We're looking at it over and over again right now. Maybe it was the dust. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what did it to those officials that night. But, uh, yeah. I mean, you guys overcame a lot. You overcame a, a fumble ruski. You know, you overcame a lot of your own uh, mistakes in the game and, and were able to send Coach Jaso out uh, with a championship, which is the most uh, appropriate thing, obviously, for one of the great coaches of all time and a guy – that, that, that turned Polly into what it is uh, with you guys. And so what was it like to send him out with a victory? Oh, I mean, just because he had done so much and he had been there for so long and given his all. Um, I mean, you got to understand, you know, a lot of these coaches, not just, you know, at the pro level and the college level, but high school level, they spend more time with us than they do their own family. You know, and we understand that. And especially when you're a program like how we had, I mean, every little bit counts, you know, and people know it's real or it's fake. You know, if you're invested or if you're not, and he was one of those that, you know, were, and that's why he had our complete attention whenever he was on that field. So, you know, to send him out that way, you know, that was the only way to do it. So, You know, what was hanging in the air for, uh, and I was still playing football, my God, uh, when this game was being played, but, you know, with guys like Gary Paskowitz and, and John Hefner and Jim Watson, who, who called the game J.J. Mike, what was hanging in the air was what was what was coming next fall after this game, uh, the De La Salle game, and uh, what that was going to be like, and uh, putting that whole uh, kind of strength together, so to speak. Was it like that for you guys, or was it, hey, we won the championship, we'll worry about next year, next year? How, how was that? Because uh, I just remember so much talk about Long Beach Poly De La Salle you know, nine months before the game was played. Yeah, I mean, I think it's inevitable not to hear about it. Um, and I think the guys that knew that that game was going to rest on their shoulders, i.e. Herschel, Winston, Manuel, Darnell, and me, it was something that we talked about. You know, you, you can't just ignore it. But, you know, I think even, even now, you know, my mindset back then was just really, let's live in the moment, right? Let's appreciate where we are. Um, you know, we'll get to that when we get to it. Football is already hard enough, you know, and uh, we're going to have plenty of time to focus on that next game. So it's really about being in the moment, to be honest. Well, I'll tell you what, in the moment right now, we really appreciate you doing this tonight and walking back down memory lane. God bless you. You stay healthy, you and your family. We'll see you in the fall, Mercedes. And uh, just thank you for doing this. And thank you uh, for doing what you do in the Long Beach community and all around. You're a great example for everybody, and it's just great to catch up. No problem, man. I appreciate you. Thanks for having me. There he goes. Another classic. Thanks for watching.